which CD marker? It's CD 40. You have to understand this. No? CD 23, right? CD 40. Okay, CD 40 ligand interaction. That's why in case of uh, primary immunodeficiency disorder, certain primary immunodeficiency disorders, when T cell is defective, either functionally or quantitative, quantitatively, but whereas B cells are fine, but since T cells are not able to stimulate the B cells, that will result in uh, additional B cell immunodeficiency. Antibody production also will come down in spite of B cells being normal because they are not stimulated well, their function will come down. Okay. Again, when, when the CD40 ligand is not functioning well, again a B cell cannot be stimulated. That will result in deficiency immunoglobulins. That's the bottom line. So now, so the antigen is taken up by the antigen presenting cell, presented to the CD4. We will come to this process in detail little later. CD4 helper T cells. So you can see the CD4 cell, this helper T cells can stimulate the B cells result in production of antibodies. The same CD4 helper T cells can result in activation of macrophages. The same CD4 helper T cells can also activate natural killer cells which is, which is, which is missing, missing in this picture. The same CD4 helper T cells can also activate the killer T cells. So finally, depending upon the antigen, what decides the clinical outcome is the helper T cells. They have to go and appropriately activate the uh, subordinates. Who are the masters of immune response? Who are the masters of who is activating everything? Helper T cells. So helper T cells are the markers of masters of immune response. That's the bottom line to be <coughs> underlined. Again, a um, short recap. So we discussed all these are subsets of helper T cells. That's what I said. Some textbooks, some classification system brings this regulatory T cells under helper T cells. There's nothing wrong in it. Two ways. Nothing is wrong. You can take it in a way one, but see to that doesn't get missed out. We need to have the regulatory T cell <coughs> function. What do you expect to happen if regulatory T cells don't function well? <coughs> so, what do you expect to happen? So, they are the ones to bring down the suppressive, excessive, unwanted immune response. When they are defective, what do you think that will happen? That will result in what? Autoimmune disease. So, one of the mechanisms for autoimmune disease development is loss of function of regulatory T cells. That's why I stress you should never miss out on the helper T cell subset. Good. So, this TH1 will take care of cell mediated immunity, of course, autoimmunity. TH2 will take care of allergy, hypersensitive reaction, or antibody mediated immunity. TH17 will take care of autoimmunity, fungal, and severe infection sepsis. You can see. IL-17 is the major <coughs> cytokine associated with TH17 response and then T regulatory T cells. This comes with what is common between IL-10 and TGF-beta. We discuss it sometime back. Good. <coughs> what is common between uh, IL-10 and TGF-beta? We read it together with some other uh, cytokines. IL-4, IL-5, IL-10, IL-13. TGF beta. So they all come under anti inflammatory cytokines. Now you can we can understand that these regular T cells mainly have an act uh, act due to their anti inflammatory cytokines. So they are under control by the <coughs> regulatory cytokines. Good Rishi. So coming to the question, <coughs> all of the following are functions of C D4 helper T cells except so, immunogenic memory, is it a function of CD4 helper T cells? Yes, because memory T cells are subsets of helper T cells. Induced immunoglobulin production, is it true? Yes. Through which ligand they interact? B cells helper T cells? CD40. So, never hesitate to repeat certain points in the class. That will really help you to remember longer period. Feel like kids in the class. Now, activate macrophages? Yes, helper T cell activate B cells, helper T cell activate macrophages, helper T cell activate cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells activate NK cells. That's why they are called as masters, not just like that. So, the answer is none of the above. Hope it's clear in the, for the online kids, the color, in the light vein, ma, you know, so, is it clear at all? <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, some kids will feel for one question we spend 15 20 minutes, but you have learned the answers for 20 questions. It's really worth it. Okay. 
okay. the following interleukin is produced in Th1 response. Now we discussed what are cytokines of Th1 response? IL2, IL12, interferon gamma. Yes. So the answer is we discussed this in the enough time we spent. So the answer is IL2 and 12. Since this is PGA based questions, so the questions will be like this. A uh, uh, question with five answers, more than one option. So I deliberately I have not chosen questions from the previous papers. There is no point discussing the same question. You need to know the logic. You need to know the high yield areas, but to learn with different questions. That's the reason. Hope it, you are okay for it. Okay. Sub, that's a short recap. Subsets of T, T lymphocytes, T lymphocytes. It's helper T cell regulated. Subsets of helper T cells, Th1, Th2, Th17, memory. Cytokines of Th1 response, interferon gamma, IL2, IL12. Cytokines of Th2 response, IL4, 5, 6, 13. Online kids, I'm sorry, due to short time lag, Though I ask you some questions, by the time you post the answer, I'll be moving to the next question, but you keep posting the answers. Nothing wrong. Okay. Okay. I should actually face there and talk. It happens. Okay. Antigen presenting cells are. Now the role of the antigen presenting cells, which dominate the immune response actually. So we'll see. Then we'll come back to the question again. So antigen presenting cell, one of the professional antigen presenting cells is a macrophage. Which do you think has the maximum potential antigen presenting cell? The really professional antigen presenting cell is a dendritic cell. Again, often asked question is this. They are really professional, literally potential. Okay. So, what do you think is the function of antigen presenting cell? So, who are the masters of immune response? T lymphocytes, helper T cell lymphocytes. So, we have to be specific. Okay. So, helper T cell lymphocytes, they, are, they really behave like masters in the sense. They just sit in their own space, they won't move around and take the antigens by themselves. They just behave like masters. They have their own servants for the identification of antigen, process, processing of the antigens, presented in a simplified, delicious manner the masters wanted. Okay, so that's what the re a need for the antigen presenting cells. What do they do is they identify the antigens, take up the antigens, process the antigens. Really, they literally cook the antigens. They take up the complex food, raw food. They cook the antigens and then they present it to the masters. Again, it's not as simple as that. It, it has more functions too. So, the first stage is identification of phagocytosis of antigen. Next is they process and present the thesis. What does they do? They do the major role of activating the masters. So, they not just present the antigen, they also activate the muscle. How it's possible? By way of what they activate the T cell? Again, so all these are mediated by cytokines. So, they secrete some kind of cytokines to activate the master. So, what do they do while processing? So, what do they do is, this is a complex antigen being taken up. So actually, there is one mistake in this picture, the sense, Usually, depending upon the antigens, the, they divide their function. This set of antigens, T cells will take care of. This set of antigens, B cells will take care of. This set of antigens, naturalicalis, naturalicalis. That's how they divide the function. The major determinant is, how do you classify the antigens? Depending upon the biochemical nature, how do you classify the antigen? How do you classify? Peptide antigen, polycyclic antigens. Lipid antigens. That's how we classify basically. That's again a uh, n number of ways of classifying it. That's how we classify it. So usually T cells will take care of peptide antigens. B cells will take care of lipid antigens, polysaccharides, lip lipoparolysaccharides, and other things. So this peptide antigens. That's the. Uh, I mean, it, there's no hard and fast rule. They are not so particular about that, but mostly they'll follow this rule. So this uh, complex food has been taken in processed and it's oxidative burst the, the, you can see this complex food is broken into simple food material food stuff and this becomes like this and it's the food it's not just the food that gets cooked what in addition gets processed gets manufactured is MHC 